Hey guys, today I am back with another build and today is a more smaller one and it has not been requested that much but I figured let's give the small ones a try as well. This is going to be a construction crane suggested by these people, thank you very much. Like always, let me know down below what you want me to build and I might put you in the next video. Now let's get into the video. So I made a nice little platform on the bottom. That thing is about 7x7. Seven seven. However, I will be increasing the width of this. It doesn't really matter how wide you make this. Now for this crane, I wanted it to be quite tall and slim. I didn't want to make like a super big crane, like a thick one. So I figured let's do 3x3 three three and just use some slabs to give it the, the connection in between. Even though it doesn't look like it goes up and down, it's still just the connecting piece in between. And it looked quite nice if you do it on both sides with different angles. So it looks like it's sort of on an angle. It looks really nice. Now on each corner there is a piece going into the platform obviously to keep this thing up straight otherwise it would fall over. Now I'm going to do this whole pattern all the way to the top it's very simple if you want to do what I did right here I basically leave one block of a gap in between then put a slab and then leave exactly one block of a gap again so don't do one and a half because the slab is a half you should do half slab and then put in uh, a full block as a gap. I don't know if you can notice, but I'm not doing the same height on each uh, piece because I'm doing it differently. Uh, one side is half a block higher than the other side. It just looked better to be off instead of like be even all the way. It's just something you should do. Like don't always do the same thing. Mix it up sometimes. Now with World Edit, I made it a little bit higher just because I don't want to build the exact same thing all over again. Now at the bottom there, I'm basically giving the support thing a little wall on the outside and making the support beams a little bit bigger. Also put in a couple of weights, which is the cyan stained clay at the bottom there, just for aesthetic purposes. I know it doesn't really look that good at the bottom there, but that will be fixed later on. Also, by the way, there is going to be a ladder in the middle right here, even though you can't see me building it, it is still there. But first we're going to work on the top piece. Now, these cranes always have like a little basket under it, of course, like a white basket, usually the cranes are yellow with a white basket under it where um, the worker sits in who uh, operates the crane, of course. I was actually trying to figure out where the top of this crane was going to be before I made the basket where the crane operator is going to sit in because I wasn't really sure on how high it was still going to be. I wanted to test how it would look if I made out some beams and uh, actually have this thing finished. So this little basket is going to be made with stairs and I'm going to place them in a round formation so that you sort of have an inside. Even though it's only 2x2 two two blocks, which usually means that you can't put anything inside of it. Even though I can't put anything inside of here, uh, it still looks like it has an inside, which is kind of the effect that I wanted to give. Now I'm going to put some glass on the front there just to make it look like it has um, like a part at the front where the work is actually hanging over so it can look down under it and actually know what you're lifting and stuff. I think that's how they work. And I put a carpet on top just to seal that top part off so you don't see the glass at the top. I think that looks better. By the way guys, I have a very serious question to you guys. I want to give all these maps out for download because I know a lot of you guys have been requesting this, so I want to do this. However, I'm gonna need to find a way to put all of these together in a world so that it's easily accessible for me and for you to view and you could also go on the server and view them. I think it would be a pretty cool idea to have a server where you can join and see all of the builds that I do in a live world. I think that would be nice. So let me know down below if you want me to put them all into one world, basically on a flat world that I'm in right now, I want to basically build them all in this world, put them together in sort of plots so that they're very close together and you can see everything. Let me know what you think of that idea. So while I was talking about that idea, in the meantime I did the weights at the back there, basically just once again sign stained clay because it sort of looks like weights, weights would be this kind of dark color and I put some slabs on top just for a little nice effect. Now I'm going to make the whole thing that goes from the back all the way of the crane to the top part, basically to um, hold the weight in place. I'm not sure how to call these things, I'm just going to call them beams that go from one end to the top. It's basically to hold the whole thing together. You guys know how this works, I don't have to explain every single like structural thing about this crane because I think cranes are not that hard to understand. Now the back one over there was really easy, just a slab every time. See how it perfectly goes down? But the front one was actually quite a bit harder for me. I tried it with three first, or I think four even, and it just didn't work out. And in the end, I 
made the front part a little bit longer and it exactly fitted uh, with three slabs each step and it was really nice. Now I made this whole thing, I'm not sure how long it was, but it basically made that front part about two thirds longer than the back part. I think that was a nice uh, ratio. Then I put in every other block, I put in a full stained uh, clay block there, a yellow one, and a slab in between, just at the top there, just to give it like a framework look. Now I'm finally going to do the front part that I was talking about that I had a lot of trouble with. So the first thing I did was every step down, I think I had like three slabs, three slabs, and then four, and then three, three, four, three, three, four, in that exact pattern, and it, it was just too far, as you can see. Now, to correct that, I started at the front, and I did three every time. And actually, you're going to see me building it right now, and I also noticed that wasn't going to fit up. But then I had to delete the whole other part and just basically continue the pattern I was doing, which is just three slabs every time, and I was just half a block short. So I basically just moved the front part of the crane a little bit over, we'll let it in a second, you'll see that right here. I'm going to select the whole thing and move it over just a tad, and now it perfectly fits to the top. Which is what I like to see. I like to have these nice patterns and not just have random blocks. I don't know, it's just me. I like to have my OCD free and uh, just do that nice little thing. Now, in the middle of the crane there, I'm putting every other four blocks, I'm putting a full block in between just to connect both sides of the framework together. And also, a quick tip, you don't always have to do these things perfectly. Like, I, I didn't know at the beginning I was going to put in that block between that block, for example. You just want to go with the flow, and if it looks good, it doesn't have to be exactly functional to me. It, like, I'm doing these things for visual purposes. If it looks nice, I'm happy with it. It doesn't have to be functional. So we're finally going to make the little rope that goes down, basically the cable that brings up all the weight. And I decided to put it into like a construction site environment, sort of. Even though I didn't make the whole construction site around it, I wanted it to lift some nice little beams that would be used for construction. Now, this first went wrong. I decided to do two, 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 two blocks, if you know what that means. It's basically two blocks, shift one over, and two again, shift one over, two again. I changed that into three, 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 as you can see. Put some slabs on the bottom to make a nice little platform that lifts all this stuff and I made it a little bit bigger and I connected um, that little framework connected to the front and to the back of the thing. I'm not sure, once again, how these things look. I'm doing this from my own brain, just thinking how it would look and I think it came out quite nice. It's just a little, little like cable attachment over there that lifts up stuff. I think it's good. Now, a very important detail about cranes, they usually have at the front a triangular design for support and strength, of course. It's way more sturdy. So I did the exact same thing every four blocks and then connect it with some slabs. Really, really easy. By the way, guys, let me also quickly tell you that I now have a website, basically a site where you can find all my downloads and a quick FAQ for questions that frequently get asked in the comments because I get a lot of similar comments. Now on this site I want to actually publish these types of builds so you guys can download them, look at them and build them in whatever console version you want on your own like pace. Even though these features are kind of quick, I still want it for you guys to be inspiration, not step-by-step -step tutorials. But I know some of you want to exactly copy my things, so I think I'm just going to put them up for download. Now on this site already, I have the GTA 5 map, I have my Clash of Clans map, I have Boom Beach, and I also have the little map I did for Captain Sparkles, his own house. I made that whole thing in Minecraft. If you want to check that out, there's also links to the videos. Go to the site, it's basically my username in Minecraft.net. That's it. And when what's okay, .net. So like I was saying before, I wanted to make a couple more beams to make this thing look a little bit more sturdy and secure. So from the top in the middle right there, I'm going to use some yellow stained clay once again and connect that to the other beams that are hanging over to the side, uh, basically to make it very, very uh, sturdy and strong looking. Now, it's just two on the outside with similar design, just going one by one block down on the left. And on the right side, I think I used two. Uh, every single time. Now to make this look smoother and nicer, every other block also, you'll see in a second, I used slabs to make the parts in between so that it's a smooth way down instead of block per block per block. This looks way nicer and you should always do this if you have the chance. See, it basically looks like it's going down half a slab each time and that's basically what I did. 
Now the most last thing I always do is add some buttons and iron fences and everything to make up for the lack of detail to give it a little more detail and it just always makes the thing come more alive, it looks nicer and even though these iron bars might not actually be in a crane, it looks better, doesn't it? In my opinion, it definitely looks better, just to have a little bit of detail. Also put in some lamps at the end on the left and all the way at the front on the right, basically if it's working at night and you want to see where the thing is. I guess, like, usually they do have lights. And that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like rating if you have enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know what you want me to build down below. And if your build gets chosen like these, I will put your comment in the video and you'll have a little shout out. So thank you very much for all the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more epic stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care. By the way, I'm not ending yet. I will now upload three videos a week, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If I don't upload, please give me shit in the comments. I, I need to upload at least three times a week, trust me. I need to, so you better get mad at me if I don't upload. <laughs> that being said, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.